Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Mods. Today we are gonna do an unboxing for my new UV flashlight for caterpillar hunting, guys. This is the UV Beast. It's about 60, 60 bucks um, off of Amazon. And guys, we are going to, we ordered one, obviously, here it is. And I am gonna unbox this. We're gonna put it together. We're gonna go over some specs and we are gonna test it out. Guys, I'm super excited to take this caterpillar hunting because when you put UV light on a caterpillar at night, a lot of them, especially the green ones, they light up iridescent or fluorescent green and uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with an ultraviolet flashlight. So guys, let's get to unboxing the UV Beast V3. Check it out. Okay, folks, I got in the mail my UV Beast V3 ultraviolet flashlight guys i am so excited because this thing is amazing and uh my buddy ricky used one last time we were in the uh in the florida keys and so therefore i'm going to go ahead and unbox this bad boy and we're going to get into it and i want to show you guys what is the deal with this special flashlight for caterpillar hunting <laughs> i mean not only caterpillars but all kinds of stuff scorpions uh, you'll see, guys. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Let's get into opening this thing up, and I'll show you all about it. Okay, folks. So, the first thing that they give you is a pair of UV glasses. Protects your eyes. Don't know how much of those I'll be using out in the, uh, when I'm out moth caterpillar hunting at night. But. Okay, so, here's the head of the flashlight. And here are the UV bulbs. So... Let's get that out. And we have, looks like the body of the flashlight. These are the, uh, um, where the batteries go. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in. Like that. Now I think there's an extension in case you want to okay, tighten this. There's some good there's some good seals in there, rubber seals. So it actually has you actually have to put a little force in it when you tighten it down. Uh, there is an extension if you want to buy extra batteries and make it longer. It gives you longer battery life. Um, okay, we got a rechargeable batteries, which is a hot thing. I love that. So you know we're gonna get these batteries charging real quick. So I'm gonna plug that in. Okay. All right, well, here we go. Okay, batteries. Let's get these bad boys charging. These are the, uh, the 18650, um, 3.7 volt batteries, rechargeable guys, rechargeable. That is the key. I, I like rechargeable batteries. I don't like dealing with buying new batteries all the time. So I'm gonna get these guys charging. Okay, now here's the extender. So if you wanted to give it a an additional battery, a third battery, you have to order that separate, but you just screw this onto here, it would make it longer but you'd have a third battery, it would give you longer battery life. And now here's obviously the cap and the button on the back. So good stuff. Let me make sure there's nothing else in there. There's a few extra seals. Okay, so guys, next thing, I'm just gonna save this battery extension because I'm gonna order another battery. And I like longer life on my battery personally. And so I'm gonna save that until I get my third battery in. But in the meantime, I'm gonna let the battery charge, the batteries charge, and as soon as they're done, we're gonna put them in here and we are going to test out the beast. Let's check it out. Okay guys, batteries are done charging. So we are now going to, let me see how, what the direction is on these. I think these go down, there's a spring down there. Okay, so it probably goes down like this. I'm guessing. 
All right, I'm gonna try and Here we go, guys. Time to get these batteries in. And they are going down. Okay, let's get this thing. Oh. Okay, let's get this thing screwed on. It, like I said, you got these these little rubber seals on there and it makes okay they got these rubber seals on here and makes tightening it down a little more tough but it helps with waterproofing um that's a good thing guys so guys that's it the flashlight is assembled and i'm going to turn it on for the very first time let's check it out boom look at that Oh, 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 oh yeah, baby. That is ultraviolet light. Now, I have my hand right here, and I can tell you right now, there is some serious heat coming off of these bulbs. I can feel the heat radiation coming off these bulbs. So that's why they want you to wear these glasses because uh, there is radiation that comes off of it. Now, it's obviously, it's in the middle of the day, guys. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. So my house is very, it's very bright. And that's why um, this is not gonna be as impressive as it would be if it were at night. But I can tell you right now that in the daylight, you know, it's not, th this shouldn't be showing as much stuff as it is. It's, this is a very, very bright flashlight. You can see, oh my goodness, look at all the imperfections in my granite countertop. You can see where the glue is in this crack. <laughs> how cool is that there's all kinds of things you can find with uv flashlights guys in fact i'm going to show you something i have purchased these cheap ones in the past and i have done some caterpillar hunting with them but guys i can tell you right now the quality of this like 25 dollars light was so it was so bad that i you know this thing was 59 bucks and I can tell you right now, the quality I can tell you is, is this thing is very heavy. This thing, it, it feels like it could be decent quality, but the you can barely see the, the UV at night. This thing has a much, much brighter light, much stronger radiate. Man, I can, like I said, I can feel the radiation when I do this. It feels hot on my skin through my shirt. So that is a strong, strong, flashlight guys um all right a few things about this flashlight guys it, it includes uh two of these 3.7 volt lithium ion uh 18650 uh batteries rechargeable batteries it's got the, the port the extension um the glasses we need to get another battery but uh we have some o-rings that are in there that help with uh keeping water out of your flashlight um, let's see, positive and fade. Okay. Yeah. Just telling you how to do it. All right. So here's the website guys. It's uvbeast.com. I visited the website. It's pretty cool. You can order this off of Amazon, this flashlight, but they've all got all kinds of UV type equipment on that website. So we have that linked in our description. Uh, you know, some applications you can use like there. <laughs> You know, we don't have a cat or a dog at our house, but, you know, you find all kinds of stuff. And one of the things that they use uh, UV light for is finding animal fluid trails, okay? And that can get really, really gross. And if you don't have a strong stomach, maybe you will want to go ahead and uh, skip that spot, that spot and, and not look in your bedrooms and, and garages for uh, for animal trails. But um that is a possibility for checking to see how clean your house is. And that's that's actually a commercially used application for a flashlight like this. But guys, we use them for caterpillar hunting and um, we are gonna try that out very, very soon. And we're gonna show you how that works. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm uh, actually in my front yard 
we're in the middle of you know Broward County urban Broward County and I just we're gonna test out my UV beast flashlight and I want to show you just how easy it is to find caterpillars butterfly caterpillars in my butterfly garden it's actually easier to find them at night with this thing than it is during the daytime because during the daytime they camouflage green caterpillar on green leaves super hard to find at night well let's see what happens okay guys this is my horse flesh mahogany tree and it's i've, I've made several videos about it and uh it's a host plant for the pink spot sulfur and this butterfly is an exotic butterfly this is an exotic tree but guys what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and i've got my uv beast flashlight and we are going to see how easy it is to find caterpillars guys comment down below if you see any caterpillars and i, and I already see a bunch of them actually guys check that out you guys see that there is a fully grown fully grown caterpillar right there guys final in star caterpillar under the uv light they glow iridescent or fluorescent green guys check that out that is a pink spot sulfur caterpillar afrisa nelis he's actually full grown all right guys let's see if we can find more which i know we will Okay, let's see here. I think focusing with my, oh, there's another one. You guys see him? There he is, guys. See him? He's actually eating. Let's, let's watch him eat. Guys, our pink spot sulfur caterpillar is feeding right now. Actually, he just stopped. But you guys can see how they glow iridescent green or fluorescent green in the dark underneath the uv light super easy to find them using the uv light let's see what else we can find here guys we'll find a few more up oh, here's another one look at that bad boy hmm that's number three number three let's see if we can find more See, let's see, let's see. Sometimes you hit it from different angles. Here's number five. Look at that. Right there, guys. Lights up. Number six. Oh, that's a big boy. He's gonna be ready for chrysalis here. He's ready for chrysalis. Oh, wow. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Look at that thing. UV light goes on them, they light up. Super easy to find caterpillars, guys, using this flashlight. There's another big boy down there. Lights up green. That's, I think it's nine. Nine so far. And this is a little tree, guys, too. It's, it's not a very big tree. Ten. There's another one. Number ten. I see eleven. I see twelve. Right there is number twelve. Thirteen. A little rainy right now i see 14 back there number 14 one thing i'm not seeing is pupa i'm not sure if i always thought i thought the pupa actually lit up but i'm not seeing any right now i'm walking in a spider web does a spider light up oh a spider even glows check out this uh crab spider here <laughs> Okay, there you have it, guys. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. All right. Yeah, okay, there's two more. Look at that. One, two, right there, guys. 
All right, there it is. We just found about 15 caterpillars in a couple minutes on my little tree out here. I guarantee you it's a lot harder to do that in the daytime, uh, you know, just looking for them because they blend right in with their environment. But if you use the UV light, you can see them super easy. Uh, oh. something, here. <laughs> something glowing green. That's a caterpillar. It is a caterpillar. I don't know what type. Uh, what it is a geometrid. Yeah? Yeah, it's a little geometrid moth. Hmm. Caterpillar. Look at him, isn't he cute? That's so cool. Isn't he cute? Look at him, little inchworm. Oh. They like to hang from their little their little thread here. Hmm. And uh, let's see if I can get them to, to, stay in your... to stay on my finger here. Look at him. Oh, isn't he cute? That's <laughs> so cool. Yeah, it's probably a Samia, uh, what are they called? I'm forgetting my Latin name. It's, what is it? You see it? It's a butterfly. Oh, it's, a sulfur. it's a sulfur. Which one? I don't know. Let's, it's let's a find sulfur. Out. Right there. I see him. He's a little beat up. Hey. Let's see. It oh, is. Nice it is. The, oh, large orange sulfur, guys. It's the large ones? Large orange sulfur. It's oh, large orange. Phoebus agarithi. It's a male. Somebody took a chunk. Yeah, oh, he, oh yeah. Bird, so, a bird or a lizard or something like yeah. that had a field day with this guy. Somebody wanted to eat him. Somebody wanted to eat him. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let him. Yeah, let's put it back. Let's put him back. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh. It's gone. Well, well, now, he wants really. to, now he wants to be around my light. So cool, huh? <laughs> okay, the Ricky. Yeah, about the... About the... um. Really? <laughs> yeah, here he goes. Oh, oh bro, come is on. It your... <laughs> it's come on, man. <laughs> Look at this. That thing's in your head. Come on. Yeah. Rick, we think we see our first caterpillar. I have no idea what that is. Oh, look at a black witch moth. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I got it. Oh, I got it. No, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I got the light for you. Okay. So cool. He got so confused with his... Uh... <laughs> got him. <coughs> got him. Black witch. Hey. <laughs> cool moth, man. So the, he, he doesn't have really... Oh, he kind of glows a little bit. Yeah. Does the black witch glow? Oh, look at the, the abdominal segments. Oh, yeah, it does. The abdom abdominal segments light up. Yes, they do. Cool. It does. So cool. Beautiful, man. Let's go see the caterpillar. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely... We definitely got our first caterpillar up here, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah. Yep. So, here, grab the light. Grab the light. And then what I'll do is I will bend the tree, bend the tree down. But I don't know where it is anymore. Oh wait, find him. Find him first. Yeah, right here. A little bit more. Oh, I got it. <sighs> I think it's an L. All right. No, it's not L. Let's it's see. It's a pink moth, but I don't know which one. Let's see, guys. That's not poison uh, wood? It's not poison wood. Come on. What is that? Guys, I really it's don't. An it's an elo. It's probably elo. Yeah, I see the, the Yeah, the elo, the elo's got the little cyclops thing eye spot on the top. But you can see how they they just light up green. Well, an, an elo that size, it shouldn't have the horn, right? No, the, the smaller instars have the horn. That's why. It still has yep, the horn. He's still, he's, still on a, he's still got another instar to go. Oh, okay. Look at the blue butterfly that just landed on me. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this butterfly. Yep. They weren't maybe. So, the... guys, um, see how they glow? They do glow. So cool. They man. do glow, and that was he was way up there, and we found him really, really easy with the UV light. Look how he just lights up. He's got like a two tone purple and purple and green. Here, check this bush here, buddy. Are you there? You see one? I see a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff? No, that's a... Oh, look at yeah, this. Yeah, look yeah. at this on top, on top. Oh, you know what they are? No. They're, um, 
This is Florida Trima. This is um, cool, guys. All right, we're, we're going to collect some of these. Them. Yeah, these are the um, tussock moths. The tussock, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let me see. These guys jump, so we have to be careful. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. I collected those before. Oh, yeah? Oh, actually, All right, yeah, guys. Yeah, that one, yeah. So, we have here... Uh, this is Halicidota. Halicidota, I believe this is syncopes. And it would be cool to probably try and get some of those guys and do some life cycle work. We're going to go, guys, we're going to go see what Ricky found. It's a cocoon. Cocoon? Yeah. And oh, you know what that is? No. Oh, yeah. So, okay, Ricky, show us what you found, buddy. This right here. All right. And glows. It so glows cool. in the dark. Oh. Guys, it's a glow in the dark. Cocoon. Cocoon or a chrysalis. A chrysalis, chrysalis. Yeah, not, Guys, not a cocoon. this is Polygonia Leo, the hammock skipper. Oh, really? I that's a, yeah, that's bro, that's awesome. a hammock skipper. Hammock skipper butterfly. The, even the chrysalis glow, guys. That's awesome. So black lighting is cool. You can find stuff really easy. Cause that thing, show them how it lights up. Oh my gosh. It's just like, from, from, uh, yeah. from a mile away. From look. a mile away. Look at this. You can see real clear how that thing lights up green. <laughs> I thought it was like a caterpillar kind of and then. Yeah. Like, oh, Excellent. <laughs> oh, what, what you got? Oh, uh, butterfly. butterfly. Ouch. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's gone. Oh, he gone. He flew. But Cassie's I blue. I went to crash my... The mosquitoes are getting yeah, mosquitoes bad, bro. mosquitoes are getting bad, yeah. Yeah. All right, the right, Ricky, what do we got here, bud? Look what we got, brother. Oh, sookie, sookie. That's Look amazing. at the beauty. Protambulux larva, guys, on poison wood. Now, the question is, how does one harvest a... Because if you go snapping that stem... He's going to give us sap and cause us very extreme discomfort. I have a, I, I do have a, um, I do have a rag, which we can use. He's like second, third star? Oh, he's, he's probably beginning a final. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ready to go, man. Yes, you yes, me, yes. Give me the, the phone. We're good. Good job, Rick. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Well, guys, I can't wait to test out this bad boy. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I got to cut myself shaving. All right. Uh, you, you never know what you're going to find when you shine UV light on stuff. Guys, let's go test this out. We're actually going to the Keys. Ricky and I are going to the Keys. He actually has one of these. And we are going to go caterpillar hunting with our UV flashlights. So, guys, if you want to see how we do, check out our future videos. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We've got tons of caterpillars, butterflies, moths, insect activity videos coming your way. We get super nerdy with this stuff, guys. We love it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up on the video. Take care, guys. Bye now.